Hello, hello everyone! Simon from SNG here, uh, joined of course by uh, my good friend Grisha Boba. Hello, hello everybody! And today uh, we are um, getting closer and closer to the end of our uh, 1941 Eastern Front campaign. Uh, because uh, today we'll doing the first part of the Battle of Moscow. We are at the end of September 1941 and the Germans are 80 kilometers from Moscow, from the capital of United States of Soviet Russia. Right. Soviets are on their back foot, uh, desperately trying to defend their motherland. But Germans are coming in mass. They're massed up armor, infantry, artillery guns, they have all they need to punch through the Russian lines. And the Russians, they're just barely holding. Uh, they don't have uh, much food, uh, supplies, ammunition, only the basic uh, anti-tank weapons and a lot less infantry. So, um, let's look on the attacking and defending forces. So, Germans first. Uh, Germans brought here um, a two platoons of uh, or two yeah two platoons of of infantry armed with uh, submachine guns, machine guns, uh, rifles, and anti-tank rifles, as we see here. There is uh, also uh, even a one sniper hiding here uh, behind some snow cover. And behind them, uh, supporting the, uh, their advance, uh, will be uh, three Panzer 35T tanks. So, uh, light armored uh, infantry support tanks with 37mm anti tank guns. Uh, fast, uh, accurate, uh, they will be the spearhead of the uh, Germans' advance. Um, the, it's the, that's the second. That's the first wave, and the second wave of their attack, if the uh, first doesn't succeed, uh, will be another uh, platoon of uh, German infantry, backed up with uh, three Panzer II uh, C light tanks, armed with uh, a 20 mm auto cannon of them. Uh, they will be uh, shredding through infantry with uh, high explosive rounds fired from that auto cannon. Uh, it's like a very high caliber machine gun, so I think it will do ma more damage than the cannon of, of Panzer 35. Um, Germans also managed uh, to uh, make themselves comfortable here in this village. Um, digging some trenches uh, in front of the village and in front of uh, the two uh, 105 millimeter artillery pieces that they brought here to support the, the attack and to bombard the uh, unprepared Russian positions. Um, okay, so they're, they're ready to move, right? Exactly. How they're about just this bridge? They're because right, right the here. Yeah, continue, continue. Uh, there is a little bridge there, right? And the river. How deep is this river? Do we know? Uh, are they going for the bridge or are they trying to... I think uh, it uh, doesn't matter for them if they will be crossing uh, through the bridge or by the river because the river is frozen cold. Frozen, right. Okay, good. So it's... Uh, 1941 was supposedly the coldest year of uh, 20th century and that's why Germans will uh, not uh, have to worry about uh, crossing a frozen river. Right, so that helped a little bit. Exactly. As Germans were not as used to cold to the cold as the Russians were. Yeah, and they didn't have... Uh, winter supplies uh, in, right. uh, as, in as many numbers as uh, as Russians that's uh, that was the number one weakness of uh, of the battle for Moscow they didn't have uh, winter equipment 
gloves, uh, mm -hmm. anything. That's why they were gathering them uh, in all the occupied Europe, Poland. Exactly. Slovakia, okay, let's Ukraine, have a look. Yeah. Let's now have a look uh, at the uh, Russian positions. So the, the biggest gun, uh, the main gun of the Russian defense is this uh, 76mm F-22, uh, long-barreled heavy anti-tank gun, and uh, that will um, support the, the defense uh, throughout all the front. It has nice visuals, it's hidden in the woods, uh, it's not uh, fully visible from uh, from every angle. Right. So uh, in nice the, elevation, though. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, in the middle of uh, the Russian position in the forest uh, is this uh, small trench uh, backed up with uh, the 45 millimeter anti-tank gun. Uh, it's a light AT weapon, but. Uh, Fa uh, the Russians are facing uh, only light tanks today, so it will be fully capable of knocking uh, out every German tank that will uh, that Germans will throw at them today. Mm -hmm. uh, we all of course have a uh, commissar backing them up uh, with some uh, Pepesha submachine gun. Right, backing and them, backing them up, and uh, preventing from uh, withdrawing. Exactly, they won't withdraw because they don't have anywhere to withdraw to. Right, the, it's it's the end. If if they lose the battle for Moscow, they is the end. Well, it may it may not be the end of their uh, of their army, but for the morale of of the Russian people, it will be just below zero. Right. That's, so, that's they are they... against the wall. Yeah, and uh, uh, ending the uh, Russian position on the left flank is the same light AT gun uh, covered in some bushes uh, on the left flank. So if anything comes up close to the trench, it will shoot at its sides. And right. do do the Russians have anything else? Any infantry around? Uh, of course, inf infantry in the forest, behind sandbags, behind uh, some logs, uh, in the ditches, and they also have uh, one 81 millimeter mortar that was brought here to uh, for artillery support. Okay. Do they have any reinforcements, perhaps, coming up? Um, or they don't know? They don't know, and even if they will have, they won't probably come uh, fast. So they're ready to fight till the end. Exactly, and they are highly unlikely to uh, to succeed. But let's see if, if we'll have a miracle of Moscow or something like that. Right. Okie dokie. Hey, let's, uh, let's roll on the uh, artillery guns right here. And let's start the battle right now. The Germans start the attack with a classic artillery barrage, bombarding the Russian positions in front of them. No returning fire. Now the the Russians don't have uh, heavy artillery around, so they they cannot do anything about those cannons. But okay. before the main attack, Germans are. Uh, when I think a little, uh, how to call it, maybe a scouting attack of sorts? Scouting, reconnoitering the terrain. Exactly. Um, so, they, a little distraction from the main attack. A uh, SDK FZ-221 uh, armed with uh, a machine gun and a infantry transport vehicle of SDK FZ-250. Uh, the health track and some infantry uh, are attacking Russian positions from the left. 
So they may be the target for oh. the Russian. Some 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 gun. lagging just uh, comments here. I think it's okay now. Mounting. Yeah, it's all right. They're dismounting. And dismounting, shooting at the gun, at the uh, F26 or F22. Oh, the the armored car is hit. Crew jumps out. Its interior is destroyed. 105 millimeter shells just uh, landing m tens, uh, maybe 20, 30 meters from from the Germans. Half truck is coming up. They're flanking them. Nice. And the main attack started. Infantry, uh, tanks, and this uh, heavy armored car of SDK of the 232 are coming up on the Russian positions. What is that vehicle in front? Uh, in front? You mean. That's in disabled? This one. Yeah, right in front of this uh, German. Uh, it's a uh, wreck of a Panzer II uh, from uh, previous battles at Skomensk, yeah. Okay, so it's just sitting there as a remnant of the other uh, skirmish. Yep. One tank was brought down by the AT fire. So the Russians are not doing too bad. No, right not then. too bad. But one is going across the field, showing its side. Mm -hmm. Not a smart move from the Germans. Without infantry. Or maybe he wants to hide behind the old one. Oh, gets tracked by the heavy AT cannon yeah. and gets disabled. It wasn't a good move for them. Yeah, with this view, they were bound to hit it. Oh, there is another one coming. Oh, one, uh, one Russian behind that Bronischstock shield uh, that we spoke of uh, in the yes, previous uh, uh, video it was just blown up. Yeah. And the shield still working. <laughs> exactly, stopping those 20 millimeter shells. Kind of good. Without the shield, they. They will be dead for now. Would they? Uh, I see that the, the heavy armored car stopped. Maybe it, it has been disabled. Let's see. Yeah! It was brought down! So it will be very hard to push the Russians out of those uh, wooded hills. Yeah, yeah. With, without the tanks. Oh, but there is one, one more tank. Here. Right, but look at look at all those. Uh, are they buddies? Are they still alive? Who knows? Uh, maybe both. They look like they're not in a position to oh, attack. The, the second wave comes up. There. Okay. So that's their hope. And Panzer twos with their auto cannons. Going for some support. This one was rolling in parallel in front of it. <laughs> Maybe some good German beer, you know? Who knows? They didn't have space in the tank, so they, they were just pushing it with, with their own tracks. And now the attack is, is getting heavy. Shelling is continuing. Oh, but the Panzer II gets hit. All of them are targeting the light AT 
cannon uh, in the middle. Uh, it's only one lucky shot that can change the situation here. Yeah, and the Germans are coming up closer and closer. The squad leader leading the advance. Two machine gunners. Oh, a lot of firepower they have. A lot of distance to cover, though. Yeah. But with support of those three tanks. Yeah, I think they will be uh, all in for it. And how's the how's the AG gun doing? It was brought down as yeah, the the crew was killed. That's why they are moving up. Exactly, and look at this. And commissar was and the two left. Oh no. It yeah. was deleted too. And what about mm -hmm. the the third one, the heavy AT? It's also crewless. Why Germans are covering this distance now? There isn't much to stop them anymore. No, only infantry. Maybe some mortar fire. Oh no, but the but the mortar was was destroyed not too. This one, That's yeah, fun. not this one. Okay. There is no return fire from the Russians. No really. commissar. No one is left in those, That's it. those trenches. That's it. This guy is dead too. Or praying. Oh, these are guys are hiding. Oh, but something came up from the road. Those are the Russian reinforcements. One light armored car and truck, and a truck full of troops. Okay, not over yet. Shots from the Panzer II are ricocheting. Maybe they can do something. Oh, well, the mast f uh, fire from two Panzer twos knocks out the, the armored car. It's only the supporting infantry left. So their chances are pretty slim. But they are not uh, zero. It'll come down to... Like, Small groups fighting among trees. It looked like there were more Germans than the Russians. Yeah, because uh, for my surprise, uh, the Germans actually had uh, a superiority of numbers in the Battle of Moscow. Right. So they will keep on moving, I think. Picking off those Russians one by one. And that... Uh, was there... Anybody on the right? Uh, on the right? Yeah, there was... This guy. And the crew of the, of the armored car. And that's pretty much it. That's it. And those three or four guys in the forest. The trees. Mm. And let's look at the of the at the German infantry. Oh, they are in mass charging at them. So they were probably clearing those trenches there, and now moving forward steadily. Oh, one is running off. But gets shot. The crewman of, of the BA-6 armored car. And I think there are no uh, Russians left 
as for now. So even as they uh, had reinforcements, the troops of the Red Army didn't manage to stop uh, the the Germans from capturing the um, the position, um, holding them at the 80 kilometer mark from their capital. Mm -hmm. So German power is rolling. Exactly. Can it be stopped? We will see. That's that's the question we'll uh, try to answer in the next video. But let's let's look at the casualties. I'm marking uh, Soviets in the red and the Germans in the yellow. Uh, both sides suffered uh, some pretty high casualties as for uh, how many troops they must up for today. Uh, the Russians lost all of the infantry and uh, and the one armored car they they brought up and all support uh, and the Germans uh, suffered pretty high casualties too. Just look at all of those bodies uh, in this no man's land that was before, uh, just laying in the snow and. Uh, the bodies from uh, Germans uh, from the flanking attack too. Uh, they destroyed half track, the armored car. They lost uh, one, two, three, three tanks and an and a heavy armored car too. So it's the losses are pretty high for both of the sides. Pretty bloody stop skirmish, the yeah. shelling for, for now. <laughs> Pretty bloody event. Exactly. So, All right. uh, thank you guys for watching today's episode of uh, Battle for Moscow Part 1. And in the next one, uh, we'll have uh, the climax of the oh. whole campaign. Oh. Hey. But not the last episode of 1941. Okay, so Germans coming towards Moscow. And let's hang it right there. Yeah, thank you for your time, guys, and see you in the next one.